doing back walkovers in front of the Eiffel Tower. Before doing a back walkover, you should always stretch. Uh, the stretches are the same as a front walkover. A good stretch would be a bridge with your leg up. You also want to be able to have a split. You don't have to have a split in the front walkover, but it's nice to show the split position upside down. Also a good stretch would be needles. The skills that you will need for a back walkover is a back bend and a back bend kickover. This is what a back walkover should look like. So let's get started. Start with your good leg in front. And always remember to look at your thumbs as you go back. Go ahead and lift your leg into a bridge. And then, there isn't really much to it. Just push through your toes and kick over. Really try to show this handstand with the full split. Some good tips for a back walkover is to look at your thumbs as you go back and to never let your foot drop as you go back because this is what it will look like. You always want to keep your leg lifted as you go back like this. If a back walkover is new to you, you might want to start on a mat first. A wedge mat might be easiest. Bonjour, Houston. Bonjour. I'm about Whitney. Oui, oui. Oui, oui. I thought somebody said wee oui, wee. Oui. Or fall from Paris and join us next time when we do cartwheels in front of the Great Wall of Town. <laughs>